Benign and malignant brain tumors as defined by Dr. Chris Turner at the ISPNO Family Day panel discussion. Scientifically, benign and malignant is a pathologic term that, that describes the invasiveness of a tumor. Benign things tend to be more localized, and if you can surgically cut it out, then it does, it's not likely to come back, whereas malignant things tend to be more infiltrative. That's from a scientific basis. Um, and so when you're talking about tumors other parts of the body, benign usually means good and malignant usually means bad. I think when a parent usually asks is it benign or malignant, they're really asking is it good or bad. And what in, toxic, when in the brain, you really have to throw all those things out the window. It does not matter. I mean, we, instead of calling it brain cancer, we call it brain tumors. And we purposely blur that line. And I think for whether for better or for worse, um, it is. And so really, we substitute brain cancer for brain uh, tumor equally. Things that are benign are usually considered non-cancerous, and things that are malignant are usually considered cancer. Um, but we have very highly malignant things that are treatable with surgery, chemo, and radiation that are very curable. And we have benign brain tumors that are unreceptable and are life-threatening and devastating. And so from a practical point, really the terms benign and malignant don't mean anything in the brain. A brain we use the term brain tumor and not benign and malignant. Place. Often the surgeons and pathologists and us doctors will talk about that pathologically it's this or not. But from a purpose of the family, it's a brain tumor, and really you have to go with the other aspects. And so I think we confuse, I think us doctors confuse the terminology that's based mixing between the science and the pathology, but it really is what the tumor is is most important, not whether it's benign or malignant.